putting on the garments and placing the Bluetooth receiver. Before capturing data or training biofeedback, you'll place four sensors on the player and set up the Bluetooth receiver. You need to first put the upper body sensor on the player's torso. Put the pelvis sensor on the player's waist. Put the lead arm sensor on the player's lead arm above the elbow. Put the hand sensor in the player's batting glove on their lead hand. Finally, place the Bluetooth receiver in an optimal location. There are individual videos that explain how to place each sensor and the Bluetooth receiver in detail. How to put on the upper body garment. Place the upper body garment on the player so the sensor sits comfortably between the player's shoulder blades. The top of the sensor should be in line with the top of the shoulder blades. Be careful to adjust the straps of the garment so the sensor sits nicely. The upper body garment can be put on too tightly as well as too loosely. As with all sensor placements, the goal is to minimize movement during use. How to put on the pelvis garment. The pelvis garment is worn just below the player's regular belt. When positioned properly, the pelvis sensor should sit on top of the sacrum, that's the bone at the lower end of the spinal column. Placing the pelvis sensor belt underneath the player's regular belt prevents the pelvis sensor from riding up during use. Be very careful with slippery fabrics. The pelvis garment may slide and need frequent adjusting. If you have a player whose sensor slides, all you have to do is put the sensor back in the right place and recalibrate. Also, if the shirt of the player is untucked, please make sure to place the pelvis garment against the pants underneath the shirt to minimize sensor movement. Putting on the lead arm garment. Place the armband for the lead arm garment around the player's lead upper arm, just above the elbow joint. Position the sensor pocket on the armband so the pocket faces parallel along the target line during swing capture, towards where the field is or would be. Putting on the hand sensor. Place the hand sensor in the middle of the lead hand batting glove in the middle of the back side of the hand. The flat side of the sensor should rest against the hand with the skinnier end of the sensor pointing towards the fingertips. Placing the Bluetooth receiver. Two methods. Before you capture swings or train biofeedback, you place your Bluetooth receiver in a position that ensures smooth running and accurate data capture. There are two ways to place the Bluetooth receiver. The quick method is to first plug the Bluetooth receiver directly into the USB port on your computer. Then place or hold the computer in an optimal location. When capturing data, we would suggest holding or placing the computer five to six feet behind the player at a position that's approximately 45 degrees off of the player's trail foot. When training biofeedback, you can place the computer in front of the athlete so the athlete can see the screen. Point your Bluetooth antenna towards the sky. For best performance, particularly when capturing swing data, we recommend using the USB extension cable and tripod to place the Bluetooth receiver, especially when working outdoors. To set up with the extension cable and tripod, first plug the Bluetooth receiver into one end of the USB extension cable. Plug the other end of the extension cable into the proper USB port on your computer. Attach the Bluetooth receiver to the tripod using the black clip on the top of the tripod. Extend the tripod legs to raise the receiver off the ground. Place the Bluetooth receiver in the tripod on the ground 5 to 6 feet behind the player at a position that's approximately 45 degrees off of the player's trail foot. Finally, point your Bluetooth antenna towards the sky. 